Uh, as I said, you're wondering what the battery life of all of my friends is right now. <laughs> Just imagine. Uh, we're going to delve a little bit uh, deeper into all of the rugby, although two Rugby World Cup fixtures have been cancelled. Not moved, cancelled, which is very notable. Still a lot of action to keep us entertained throughout the weekend and an opportunity to take stock, I think, at the moment of where we stand in the World Cup ahead of the quarters. Um, sports anchor Jeremy Harris joins us in studio again to talk about the six World Cup fixtures actually taking place place over the next three days and share his predictions ahead of the quarterfinals what they're going to look like who's playing likely to play who yeah. um, still a bit up in the air at the moment I think the first box we tick is that we're, we're comfortable that the spring box are, are there yeah. and they've, they've done it well and they seem to be peaking at the right time player selections how are you feeling about the box no, I'm feeling very happy I think uh, you know Rassi Erasmus and, and the boys will feel very confident as well they've they've done exactly what they wanted to do and that was get through the pool stages qualify for the quarterfinals and so Partially, the mission has been accomplished. Where are Australia? They take on Georgia, um, which are no mooks by any stretch of the imagination. They can play. They play with good structures. You can kind of you always look at rugby with the minnows, so-called minnows, at the layers of how they play. Do they get the the tight right? Do they get the possession game right? And Georgia plays some some pretty good, yeah. um, some good-looking rugby at times as well. Um, obviously, you've got to give Australia the nod there. Are Australia contenders though for this World Cup? Wow, great question. Um, I'm not too sure if, if they will go all the way, but, uh, you know, they've ground out wins uh, in the past and they could do it again. They're certainly a good enough side. Um, but I, I wouldn't put them in my top four uh, ordinarily. Um, but look, they've, they've definitely qualified, even without this game against Georgia. They're, they're through to the quarterfinal stage. Um, will they go all the way? I'm not too sure. It's a World Cup. Yep. Anything can happen, Anything man. can happen. Anything it's can one game. Happen. Um, I think a lot of us will be looking at Ireland as they take on Samoa, mainly to see the real island will the, the real island please stand, stand up, up yeah. um, because obviously that's a very very well publicized loss to a very good Japanese outfit the host playing some fantastic rugby at the moment what went wrong for Ireland can we say it was their B team just a bad day were they beaten by the better side on the day what are you expecting from Ireland against Samoa well I think they were beaten by 15 men plus 55,000 people in the stadium <laughs> it felt which like that which is great yeah just that's absolutely, awesome. I mean I don't know if you heard the post match uh, you know interview in the stadium it was deafening there to sort of wait for the crowd to subside a little bit but uh, I think that that Ireland might have just uh, underestimated them uh, a wee bit and, and Japan took the, took advantage and they won't do that against no, Samoa no 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 this is a team that was number one in the world just a few weeks ago then we move on to two fixtures that won't be happening this weekend what do you make obviously a uh, typhoon uh, Hagibis, Hagibis, yes. Hagibis um, is coming massive massive storm uh, millions of people affected let's take nothing away from that albeit yeah. with the, the rugby being one of the elements of that um, what does this mean? That well, we're cancelling, not moving, cancelling games. Two games have been cancelled. So it's um, England versus France. It's New Zealand versus Italy. Would have Italy. been a cracker. Two two good games would have would have um, you know would have happened. And in fact, Italy particularly, they say they gutted by the fact that whilst they know they wouldn't have been able to advance, to be able to play against the world number one team is something you want to do and and improve on what they showed against the box as well. It was a yeah. woeful performance. So there. so that for them is disappointment. Um, but I mean to go back to your point you've got a category 5 super typhoon about to make landfall uh, on your island uh, me I would run and hide far away uh, uh, so so I think that's exactly what the, the guys are saying get out of there and be safe and what does this mean for Japan we know probably the most anticipated game this weekend they're up against Scotland yes what can they really do I think most people are asking but if things don't go their way if Scotland win and now looking at the shift could Japan not qualify yes <gasps> Yes, I mean, that is the reality. If if, um, uh, if Scotland come away with a win, and particularly if they come away with a bonus point mm. win, then it's all over for, for Japan. Um, and I think that would be the biggest disaster, um, you know, second maybe to that typhoon. It, it really is something that, that they are serious about, and they know they are going into the match of their lives on, on Sunday. You would say Scotland are a better team, but where Japan is now, who, who's your favourite? Well, I mean, again, we, we keep forgetting the fact that Japan is ranked higher than... Scotland in the world rankings crazy. Um, and again people just go oh well Japan they're not they're a, a yeah. non, non contender but they, they're a contender uh, and uh, so you know Jamie Joseph's got a, a decent squad there and he's gonna put out a team that knows exactly what they've got to do he's got to love a Skachny man he's got to love a Skachny, he's love a Skachny. they're gonna do it so um, just to reiterate as it stands Japan Ireland topping pool a New Zealand South Africa topping pool B we probably want to take on Japan not the wounded beast that is 
Ireland. England and France so sad that they won't be facing each other, but it looks like they're a shoo-in for the corners. And then Wales and Australia in Pool D. Yeah. Um, so it, it, it looks like all is well in the world of rugby going into the quarters. Absolutely. I mean, I think the, the irony is that the host nation is amongst three teams that could advance, which is pretty you know tight with just one game left to play. So that's exciting for the weekend. Um, so despite the two cancellations, a couple of interesting fixtures to look out for. I think most notably we'll, we'll find out on Sunday morning whether that Japan-Scotland game will actually take place. It's scheduled for a quarter to one. Let's hope that it does. And of course, send all of our positive energy and positive thoughts to Japan as um, that typhoon makes landfall. Um, take nothing away from them experiencing what is yeah. going to be a Category 5 hurricane. So send your thoughts. Oh, you can make